You can find all the resources and explanation PDF below in the description. If you enjoy this video, please like and subscribe to support my journey. There are some important things to consider when addressing case studies, which I want to mention before going into details. Firstly, it's crucial to understand the structure of the case study well, as we won't have much time to repeatedly read it during the exam. Once we understand the structure and industry of the case study, for example, whether it's gaming, manufacturing or healthcare, we can more easily apply Google's architectural best practices to the case study. While handling this case study, we will address it according to its characteristics. However, during the exam, it's important to focus on what the question is asking. Therefore, pay attention to key areas in the question, such as security, reliability, cost-effectiveness, performance optimization, and operational excellence. After thoroughly understanding the case study, you can map the most suitable services from the Google Cloud platform for this study. You can find the link in the descriptions as well. Let's start with reading the company overview. EHR Healthcare is a leading provider of electronic health record software to the medical industry. EHR Healthcare provides their software as a service to multinational medical offices, hospitals and insurance providers. EHR Healthcare wants to modernize its electronic health record, EHR, system by moving it to Google Cloud. They aim to improve the performance, security and scalability of their system while ensuring compliance with healthcare regulations. This case study is about the healthcare industry, so the first thing that came to my mind after reading the company overview is compliance and data security. What is important to remember when it comes to the healthcare industry? Apply IAM best practices to ensure effective access control management. Activate object versioning for sensitive data to monitor changes effectively. Object lifecycle management to cut costs by automatically removing outdated data. Ensure compliance with retention policies by using bucket lock. Grant time-limited read or write access to objects using signed URLs. Utilize the Cloud Data Loss Prevention DLP API to classify, mask, tokenize and transform sensitive data such as credit card numbers, names, SSNs and phone numbers. Export cloud audit logs to cloud storage, BigQuery or PubSub as needed. Enable access transparency logs to trace actions taken by Google support. Execute a Google Cloud Business Associate Agreement, BAA. Let's continue with the existing technical environment. EHR's software is currently hosted in multiple co-location facilities. The lease on one of the data centers is about to expire. EHR Healthcare currently hosts its software in multiple co-location facilities. These are data centers where they rent space to house their servers and networking equipment. One of these data center leases is about to expire, prompting the need for a transition to a more scalable and modern solution. Customer-facing applications are web-based, and many have recently been containerized to run on a group of Kubernetes clusters. Data is stored in a mixture of relational and NoSQL databases, MySQL, MSSQL Server, Redis, and MongoDB. The company's customer-facing applications are web-based. This means users access these applications through their web browsers. Many of these applications have been containerized. These containers are managed using Kubernetes clusters. EHR Healthcare stores its data in a mix of relational databases like MySQL and MSSQL Server and NoSQL databases like Redis and MongoDB. EHR is hosting several legacy file and API-based integrations with insurance providers on-premises. These systems are scheduled to be replaced over the next several years. There is no plan to upgrade or move these systems at the current time. The company hosts several legacy file-based and API-based integrations with insurance providers on-premises. These systems are old and are scheduled to be replaced over the next few years. Despite the plans for future upgrades, there is currently no immediate plan to move these legacy systems to the cloud. This means that there will be some hosting on-prem. 
Users are managed via Microsoft Active Directory. Monitoring is currently being done via various open source tools. Alerts are sent via email and are often ignored. The system uses Microsoft Active Directory for user management, including authentication and authorization. Alerts are sent via email and are often ignored. Since we have created a draft design schema for the existing technical environment, we can continue with the solution details. Due to rapid changes in the healthcare and insurance industry, EHR Healthcare's business has been growing exponentially year over year. They need to be able to scale their environment, adapt their disaster recovery plan, and roll out new continuous deployment capabilities to update their software at a fast pace. Google Cloud has been chosen to replace their current co-location facilities. Let's try to map the existing environment to the best Google Cloud services. For the web-based application, the best option is Google Kubernetes Engine, GKE. Since they have an on-premises site, Anthos is needed to manage the workloads that need to run on-premises. For relational databases, the best option is Cloud SQL, which supports MySQL and MS SQL Server until additional requirements are stated. For Redis, Memory Store can be used, and MongoDB can be deployed using Cloud Marketplace. For user management, Active Directory Federation Services, ADFS, can be used for single sign-on, and Google Cloud Directory Sync can synchronize users and groups from Active Directory to Cloud Identity. For monitoring, Cloud Monitoring and Cloud Logging can be used. For alerting, Cloud Alerting can be used to create more actionable and timely alerts that integrate with other systems. In addition to this mapping, CI-CD tools are needed to update their software at a fast pace. Finally, the system needs to handle auto-scaling and be highly available. Let's move on with the business requirements. Onboard new insurance providers as quickly as possible. Apigee is a good option for creating APIs that can be quickly configured and deployed for new insurance providers. Cloud Pub Sub can be used for real-time data integration and processing from new providers. If it were a healthcare provider instead of an insurance provider, I would consider using the healthcare API for data ingestion. However, for now, I do not consider that option. Provide a minimum 99.9% .9 availability for all customer-facing systems. We already implemented Google Kubernetes Engine to manage containerized applications with high availability across multiple zones, and Anthos for the on-prem site. Also, cloud load balancing can be used to distribute traffic evenly and ensure high availability. Provide centralized visibility and proactive action on system performance and usage. They need tools that can help them monitor the system's health and take preventive actions to maintain performance and reliability. We already added cloud monitoring and cloud logging into our design to gain insights into system performance and set up alerts for proactive management. Increase ability to provide insights into healthcare trends. BigQuery is needed to produce insights about healthcare trends. In addition, I feel that considering the healthcare API in this pipeline can be useful since EHR is connected to the hospital and healthcare providers. Data conversion via the healthcare API might be needed. I need to mention that I could not find a resource specifically stating that the healthcare API needs to be used for this EHR case study, but based on this chart, I feel it is needed for both healthcare analysis and data security. Please proceed according to your own judgment. Reduce latency to all customers. Maintain regulatory compliance. Cloud CDN can be used to minimize latency in addition to the load balancer. Maintaining compliance with regulations such as HIPAA and ensuring the security and privacy of patient data. I think Healthcare API de-identification, DID, plus Cloud Data Loss Prevention, DLP, should be used for this purpose.
I provided some additional information about the compliance in the company overview chapter, so you can check that one more time. Make predictions and generate reports on industry trends based on provider data. Using provider data to make predictions and generate reports about industry trends. This helps in strategic planning and decision making. Integrate AI and ML services like BigQuery ML to create predictive models and generate insights from healthcare data. Moving on with technical requirements. Maintain legacy interfaces to insurance providers with connectivity to both on-premises systems and cloud providers. EHR Healthcare needs to keep the existing connections with insurance providers. This involves maintaining interfaces that connect both on-premises systems and cloud providers. Use cloud VPN or dedicated interconnect to establish secure connections between on-premises systems and Google Cloud. Implement Apogee for API management to handle interactions between different systems. Provide a consistent way to manage customer-facing applications that are container-based. Provide a secure and high-performance connection between on-premises systems and Google Cloud. Deploy Google Kubernetes Engine, GKE, to run and manage containerized applications both on-premises and in the cloud. Use Anthos for consistent management across hybrid environments. Utilize dedicated interconnect for a secure and high bandwidth connection between on-premises data centers and Google Cloud. Provide consistent logging, log retention, monitoring and alerting capabilities. Maintain and manage multiple container-based environments. Dynamically scale and provision new environments. Create interfaces to ingest and process data from new providers. We have already handled everything except the last one. For data ingestion, following the pipelines you see on the screen will be beneficial. Finally, you can find my notes for executive statement. I checked a few resources, especially about the healthcare API, and you can find them in the link. These resources explain the analysis pipeline as well as the data security pipelines. I highly recommend checking them. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoy this video.